Welcome back to Keto Rivet Journey with Mike. I'm Mike, Reform Fat Man. Well, I'm in the mood for a little chili. But I don't want to just a uh, regular chili, so I'm going to make a cheesy chicken chili. Uh, call it a, a white chili if you want, uh, but it won't be completely white. It'll, it's got tomatoes in it, but it's still good. So stick around and let's see how it's made. Okay, into my pot, I have put two bags of frozen cauliflower that I thawed and microwaved for uh, about five minutes total, and <clears throat> two cans of tomatoes and some chicken, rotisserie chicken. Uh, it's the um, Costco leg quarters that I've got in here, and I've got some um chicken broth that I'm gonna add in here now the, the, the it's about a half of a container this is 32 ounces so it's about 16 ounces of chicken broth and I have not seasoned it yet that's coming I will might need to add more broth. Not sure. Looks like I will. The tomatoes, the two cans of tomatoes, I did not drain them per se. I did drain maybe just a touch, but for the most part, they're not drained. So I'm gonna add in some chili powder. This is just store-bought that uh, I ran out of my own and I bought some of this. It was cheap, so I bought it. I usually make my own. I'm going to add some salt. some onion powder might need to add more of all this stuff I don't know we'll see it's hard to say and some garlic powder now how much I put in I go by taste if you've watched any of my videos you'll know that I rarely measure because I believe you ought to make it the way you want to make it taste. You want to add less? Add less. You want to add more? Add more. It's all up to you. Yeah, I'm definitely going to have to add some more broth. But I'm using the cauliflower rice in place of using uh, navy beans or some other kind of white bean that you put in this time, this uh, dish usually. So, yep, I gotta have some more. Alrighty, let me get some more. So I'm out of chicken broth, so I'm gonna use some of this better than bouillon and mix a little water with it. This stuff's great. If you hadn't had it, it's great. It is fantastic. I highly recommend it. And then I'll add some water with it also. Let's see if I can get the water out of there. I got a little kettle here, and let's see what I can do to make it. Clean off my spoon here. That's good. Whoops, sorry about that. Didn't mean to jostle again. So now we mix it together. this kind of get hot and then I'm gonna taste it and see what it needs left next try to taste better here oh there is one thing I didn't add yet that I want to add and that is some minced onion 
in lieu of doing regular onion and cutting it up. I'm just going to do this. Now there's no, you can add peppers to this if you want. My wife's not a big fan of peppers. Uh, you can add fresh onion and with the peppers, all of these things. It's up to you. She likes peppers okay, but she's not a huge fan of them. So spicy or otherwise. And I did not use the Rotel, just regular diced onion, uh, tomatoes rather. Together, coming together. I'm let her simmer for about a good half hour or so. So now I'm gonna add the cheese in. I've got a Mexican blend cheese that I'm gonna add into it. So here's the chili. All cheesed up. So it's good and cheesy. All good and mixed up and cheesy. I'm going to try a taste of it here. See if I can blow on it and cool it down. You see that smoke coming up? That's the steam. <laughs> so. Oh yeah, oh yeah, that's so good. Wow. I hope y'all give this a try. This is really good, this is really good. And it's a, these colder months coming in, you know, and it's a dump and go. You can do it in a, in a crock pot. You can do it in a um, instant pot. That doesn't matter, it works, it works well. All right, this is Mike Kid Riffy Journey saying thanks. Appreciate you joining me. And y'all come back again now you're here and let's be careful out there.